Hi guys, welcome back to shop. Hey, today I'm gonna jump back on the TS-125 cylinder and we're gonna finish that up. Uh, we're gonna bore it, or we've already bored it. We need to uh, hone it and fit the piston, check the ring gap, and just clean it up and send it home. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through the measurements, make sure that uh, my equipment is all up to, to speed and then we're gonna go start honing it. And it takes a little while, you, you won't see the whole thing, but you'll see enough of it to, uh, to get the gist. So let me get you overhead here and let's go over a few of the uh, preliminaries. Okay, again I'm gonna take a look at my, my micrometer here just to make sure everything's good. I'm gonna go ahead and check it with a standard. There you go. And we're right on the money. Okay. Now, first thing we want to do is go ahead and check our, our piston. And I've still got my mark on here for where we're checking it at. And just to remind everybody that's uh, 23 millimeters or 0.91 inches from the bottom of the skirt here. Okay, let's open this up. And I just kind of, uh, the line, I just kind of uh, put my, uh, micrometer right in the middle of it so half of it's off half of it's on okay using my thimble here to uh, get my measurement and it feels good right there and we've got two point two four two, three. Okay. So then I've, I've already set my micrometer or my bore gauge up, but I'll take you over there and show you anyhow. <clears throat> okay. We're back over at the checking fixture. Uh, this is a CF-1126, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's probably not that great to see. But anyhow, that's what we use to set up the dial bore gauge. And I've got it here. I've got it set at exactly the same. It's 2.2423. So that's where we're at. And I've got the bore gauge zeroed out. So then we're gonna take it over and measure the cylinder. Okay, now just to remind everybody, the, uh, the place we're checking here is 20 millimeters from the top, which is 0.79 inches. So just right down here, uh, let me get my caliper here. So 0.79. And maybe I can get a little closer to that. There we go. All right. So that's right where we're checking there. I think you can see that just above the exhaust port. Okay. So we take our 
dial bore gauge. I'm going to have to move you out a little bit here. Okay. We'll insert it. And I think you probably remember the other day that we were a little bit, uh, almost, almost four and a half thousandths, and that's where we're at. It's a little over that. Four. Uh, four and seven tenths. Okay, so what's that mean? Okay, where the bore is four and seven tenths smaller than the piston right now. So if the dial here goes up to zero, we would be exactly the same size as the piston. See, this is all on the minus side of the gauge. This is the plus side. So what we're looking for is between 0 0.0018 and 0 0.0021 for clearance. So we're gonna go over and start honing and watch this creep up to zero. Then we're gonna put in our, our clearance. So it's gonna to continue to creep over until we're between 1.8 and two. That's, what I wanna be, that's where I wanna be. So that's how this thing all works. So as we're, we're at the point where we need to be in the cylinder and we, we're just going to go and we're going to keep honing until it creeps up to zero. Then we're going to put our clearance in over here. Okay, so let's head over there. Okay, I wanted to show you here real quick before we start. Uh, it's probably being kind of glaring here. I'm not sure whether that's, I'm going to have to move you out of the sun, I think. Yeah. Still got my micrometer set here, and just to verify, this is really hard to do, but moving around. But I think you can see it's there. Okay, we're within one ten thousandths of what we set it up of over there. So one ten thousandths difference between two different measuring pieces of equipment. And I, I've got all the uh, faith in the sun and setup fixture uh, that I can have. It's, uh, so the gauge is right and we verified it to within one ten thousandths on the micrometer. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to true up my stones, just like I always do before, using a truing uh, sleeve. That's going to go on there. And uh, let's get some stuff going here first. I'll go ahead and get a little inside my sleeve. Got some tension, a little too much. This just trues up the stones so that uh, when we start the cylinder, the stones are true from one end to the other. And I take it out and turn it around once in a while, just like I do with the cylinder. Okay, started started going through it and 
I'm down to just about four right now, four thousandths, bigger. Uh, or actually smaller. The cylinder is smaller than the piston. And that's set up, as you remember, uh, to the same dimension as the piston. Like I say, it's, it's a long process. It's probably going to take me uh, probably 20 minutes. I don't know. That's, that's a little more. I, I really like it closer at around three thousandths to hone out, not including the, uh, the clearance. And I was a little over. That's okay. I'd rather be over than under. You got to watch on those on this type of hone that you don't exert any pressure up or down or sideways. You just let the machine do the do the work, and all you're doing is is moving the cylinder in and out. Let's take another look at it. See where we're at. Okay, we're about. Uh, three and a half. So we just took out a half a thousandths. So we'll continue on and I'll bring you back here when I get a little closer. Okay, let's give this another check. We're right at two, two, two and two thin thousandths. Smaller. This is smaller than the piston. And we just double check it over the other side just to make sure we're not introducing any taper. And I'm looking at exactly the same. About 2-2. Two, two. So we've got a little ways to go yet. We've taken uh, about two and a half thousandths out. Okay, we're right at uh, zero. I think you can see that. Right at zero. Okay, so we've we're just to, to the point now where we're going to start putting our clearance in. And I just want to take the piston here and show you that we're just getting there. I could probably force it through there, but you don't want to do that. Uh, but that's, it's really, it's really starting to fit in there now. Okay, so we're going to continue on and put our uh, our 2000s clearance in. I'm going to have to get your leg out of the way here. 
I don't know how much better this is going to be. I've been standing here in the morning sun. It's been pretty hot, but uh, we're just, we're getting close here. about three ten thousandths clearance now. Yep. So we're finally starting to get some clearance. Take another look here. Uh, about six. Six thousandths on the plus side. So we've actually, not thousands, six ten thousandths. And about the same. Six ten thousandths. Remember, we're wanting to hit about two. So we, at least we're on the plus side now. Yeah, it'd probably go through there now.
trying to keep about two, two and a half pounds of pressure on it. That's what I'm after right there. That's kind of what I'm looking for. You don't want to overdo it. You overdo it, you, you tax the machine itself and uh, you're just really not going to take that much more out. You just, you're wearing out your stones and, and your uh, equipment. So that's what, what I'm adjusting when you see that. And plus, as you warm it up by the friction, it's going to going to increase some so you back it off a little bit We're running right at two and a half right now okay we're getting to the point now where we want to check often Nine ten thousandths. Nine ten thousandths. So we're just about a thousandths away from our target. Yeah, see that'll go all the way in there now. Okay, I'm reading 14. It, that's not 14 thousandths, that's 14 ten thousandths. So 1,000 and four ten thousandths. And just about the same. About 14 and a half maybe right there so we'll work on the bottom part a little bit more we're getting close it's one and a half thousands One and a half thousandths. Getting close, gentlemen. And it's sixteen. One and six ten thousandths. One and six ten thousand. Oh, one and five. You need to work on the top just a little bit.
really looking nice in there. Okay, about 17, five. We're almost at the minimum of one eight. One eight. One eight. I'd like to get one more. Try to keep my pressure down below two now. Reading 19 right there. About 18 and a half. All right, getting close. Right at two. Too. All right, we're gonna stop. Let me get this thing cleaned up and uh, see you back over at the bench. Okay, guys, back up on the bench. Our finished project here. That light is situated where you can see instead of blinding you. Very nice finish. The sun and stones are the way to go. Very nice. Okay. Let's double check our work here. Let's see, I'm going to have to... Sorry, I've got to take away your uh, close-up so you can see this, this gauge here. 
I think you can. Okay. See my where I need to be. Looks like it. So our final measurement there is just a, almost two. It was uh, it's probably 19 and three quarters. So one and nine ten thousandths plus a little bit. I like that. On the bottom, this isn't where we make our measurement, of course, but it's uh, looking a little closer to 19. That's okay. Still within the range. And uh, like I said, our measurement is taken at, uh, what is it here? 0.79 from the top of the cylinder and that's where we're at. So that measurement and this measurement here taken from 0.91 inches from the bottom of the skirt. I like that. Very nice. That should serve him well. All I've got to do is to uh, uh, chamfer the ports and then put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and give it a good cleaning up. Okay, one other thing here before I um, do the chamfering, we got to check our ring gap. Okay, got a good tight 10 on that one. I think you can see that. And the same. Nice ten. I like that. Okay, so those should be good to go. The uh, uh, criteria on that is 6 to 13 thousandths, 15, or yeah, 0. 0.15 to 0. 0.35 millimeters. So 6 to 13 thousandths. So we're good on that. So we've just got to. Let me kind of clean up here and I'll start some uh, chamfering. All right, Let's see if we can get in here and go to work. Again, it's really the uh, the top and the bottom is what you're after. I mean, we'll get it all, but that's the important part. It doesn't take a lot.
Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Feels good. I like that. All right. Yeah, let's just take another quick look at it. So there you go guys, another one bored. Okay guys, there you go, got another one down. Uh, really nice job, I think uh, it, uh, I put some new stones on my home and it really makes a wonderful difference when you've got new stones. And uh, it's just such a, it's uh, so satisfying to see that, uh, what that machine can do. And we've got our, uh, got our clearance right at 2,000, uh, really between 1, 9, and 2, and that's just perfect. Uh, I would prefer it a little bit on the tight side. Uh, just remember that anytime you're doing this, even if it's on the loose side, you want to break it in. You want to use good oil on your, when you're putting it together, and uh, just Take her easy for a while. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to go out there and race one the first day out. So probably 50 to 100 miles, something like that. Uh, vary your, uh, your speed, you know, and a, give it a blip once in a while to give it a shot of uh, good, cool uh, fuel in there. You know, that's, that makes uh, a big difference to give it at that charge. That, uh, that will keep things cool and always verify to make sure your oil pump is, uh, uh, make sure your lines are full, 
make sure the pump is pumping and uh, maybe start out with a little pre-mix too. You know, you just never know. I always do when I'm starting them up for the first time. If I've got it on the bottle, you need to just throw a little oil in there and make sure everything is good. And uh, it wouldn't hurt to put a little in the tank too. So, hey, thanks for going along on the ride and we'll see you next video.